Micromax is not a new name in the world of smartphones, but with Chinese smartphone brands offering better specs and having a huge marketing budget, Indian manufacturers like Micromax has been in the saddle for a while now. With the new Micromax Canvas Infinity, however, things might turn in their favor. The Micromax Canvas Infinity is the only phone with a near bezel-less display under the price of Rs 20,000, along with a good selection of specs and cameras. But can it win the heart of Nepali audience? I'm Yankee and let's find out in this review. The Canvas Infinity comes with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio display, making it really narrow compared to other 5.5 inch devices. However, with the thick bezels on the top and bottom, it is by no means a one-handed phone. At first glance, it might feel like a metal body, but after inspection, we found out it to be a plastic body, and I have to say the build quality isn't up to par with the others. It creaks when in use and is not sturdier compared to phones at a similar price tag like the Huawei Y7 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5A. This removable bag gives access to a removable battery. This feature was dearly missed in the past when almost all the companies removed it from their phones. But now in 2017, is there still a need for a removable battery? Have your say on the comments section below. Moving on to the display. The highlight of the Canvas Infinity is its 18 to 9 display. The display is something no other phone offers at a price this low, which is a huge advantage for Micromax. The resolution of 720 by 1440, however, doesn't help much on a 5.7 inch size, which just looks pixelated, but you can hardly complain at this price. The sunlight visibility is fine with 450 nits of brightness, but the color reproduction is substandard. It feels oversaturated and the colors don't come near to natural tone. The display has its own perks, but Micromax's calibration makes the screen simply unpleasant to look at. Cameras on this device are quite good, both the front and the back. The front holds a 16 megapixel f2.0 aperture camera along with a soft flash. You would think that with all the hype that Micromax created over its selfie camera, the camera would produce some good selfies. Well, it does and they are pretty good as well, with good details and colors. It's a lot better than what I initially expected. The back has a 13 megapixel f2.0 aperture camera, which is decent for its price. It's not as good as the front, but will get the job done. To the eyes of a non-expert at photography, the back camera takes really good photos under good lighting with fast focus, almost accurate color saturation, a bit cooler tone and fine details even after zooming. I however found the SDR mode didn't make any difference. Like all the budget phones, it suffers at low light with grainy images. The phone is packed with Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor, which is quad-core 1.4GHz Cortex-A53 CPU paired with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. The performance is decent, just look at the benchmarks. And if the benchmarks seem gibberish to you, they are fine considering the price and competition. But I would have loved the combo of Snapdragon 435 with 3GB of RAM. Games run ok with a few frame drops here and there, but they are completely playable. And the best part about it is, it doesn't heat up so much. The UI is the biggest letdown of the Canvas Infinity. It runs on Android Nougat and Micromax has promised a planned upgrade to Android Oreo. This might seem great and all, but the user experience on this phone is way beyond bad. The UI is plain laggy and clearly wants to emulate iPhone's iOS. Seeing how bad the software was on this phone, I would have loved to see it running on stock Android. Micromax could and probably should stop spending their time and money on a customized UI. With that, I feel the 425 couldn't run with its full capacity. The same chipset on Mi 5A does much better with performance. Connectivity-wise, the Micromax Canvas Infinity seems to have everything a normal phone needs to function like dual SIM with 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. However, I found the Wi-Fi to be comparatively weak and the quality of the mic was also something I was disappointed with. The phone supports two SIMs and a micro SD card slot at the same time. The fingerprint sensor was snappy and accurate but takes about one second to unlock. The phone holds a 2900 mAh lithium ion removable battery which will last you a day. I got on an average of 4 to 5 hours of screen on time which is considered average. There are the usual battery saving modes as well but they didn't do much to be honest. It lacks fast charging so it takes a little more than 2.5 hours to fully charge from 0 to 100%. If you are a power user, you can carry an extra battery and take the advantage of removable battery feature and swipe it whenever required. So in conclusion, Micromax Canvas Infinity is a good attempt from the company, especially considering its 18 to 9 aspect ratio. 
good looks Qualcomm processor, 3 GB of RAM and fingerprint sensor at this price point. It is a good buy if you can live with the boggy software. And if Micromax does succeed in fixing these problems with future software optimizations, especially with the planned Oreo update, it's going to be a great pick under Rs 20,000. So that's it for the full review of Micromax Canvas Infinity. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the phone and make sure you hit that bell icon so you can get notified about all the latest tech happenings in Nepal. And this is me Yankee, signing off.